Shopping will never be the same again after today. Today, Amazon just revealed its latest innovation and it is called Rufus. Rufus is an AI powered shopping assistant. I am going to dive into what I know about it so far in just a second. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben Silverman, and my main goal is really to make AI accessible for everyone, but especially creatives, and to help use these tools to give them superpowers. Please, if you like the videos and feel like you've gotten something from it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like, it will really help me out. And don't forget to check out my AI toolbox. That toolbox I basically use as my second brain. I keep it updated with all the latest news and the tools, even sample prompts. I'm gonna be adding automations and different other things to it. So please check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. I really look at all of these things so I can go down all the rabbit holes so you don't have to. So what is Rufus? Rufus is Amazon's latest feature. It's designed to make your shopping experience smoother and smarter. Imagine having a personal assistant that knows Amazon's entire catalog inside and out. With Rufus, you can ask questions like, what do you wanna consider when buying headphones? Or get comparisons like trail versus road running shoes. It's not just a search tool, it's like having a chat with a knowledgeable person who knows everything about Amazon's products. It really takes the idea of going to say a mall or a store and being able to talk to somebody and that's what we've been missing in our online shopping experience. Now I know there can be tensions about what that means because people have already been annoyed with like moving everything digitally. This could potentially do much more of that. This is also having a ton more knowledge since Amazon has been absolutely everywhere and it's trained on basically every product in the world that exists is on Amazon. They claim that using Rufus is going to be super simple. It's going to be integrated into the Amazon app. You just have to type or speak your question and Rufus provides answers, pulling from information from Amazon extensive data and the web, right? So it uses the data set and it uses the web for things that is not part of Amazon's data. It also is powered by generative AI. So that means it's trained on a vast array of data, making it capable of understanding and responding to a whole wide variety of customer inquiries. Now, while Rufus sounds amazing, there's gotta be some cons as well to the pros, right? The convenience is a huge, huge plus, but remember, it's still AI, and it might not always get exactly what it is that you want, and it might not always be telling you the right answers, right? So it's gonna be updated um, constantly, and there are gonna be tons more of improvements. You know, one of my big questions is how will marketing and advertising work? What will it take for your product to make it to the top of their algorithm? How is it gonna be judged when they're saying, oh, I recommend this versus that? I mean, that is kind of what Google does now, and that is what Amazon does, but this is going to basically take away all of the other answers and direct it to one or two ideas, if, if I'm thinking about it correctly. Rufus is just the beginning, though. So imagine the future of shopping with AI. It's going to be super personalized, very efficient, uh, it can be interactive and fun once you start incorporating some of the spatial computing aspects, being able to see what things are in the room, asking for recommendations and it providing it to you so you can see what it is in your living room. Now I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description as well, but this is uh, the, the page that came out uh, on Rufus. Uh, it gives a lot of information on how uh, Amazon is using AI. Uh, it talks about where their AI generated review highlights come from. And then if you just click around, you can see specifically what it is that it is drawing from. And then here's another really interesting thing. Amazon launches generative AI to help sellers write product descriptions. So people who are selling products on Amazon can actually just uh, upload a picture, have a little bit of a description, and it will write the description and the rest of it for you. Now my question is, is if you do everything through Amazon and it helps you, does that push you to the top? It's gonna be about figuring out, well, what is the algorithm that gets your product to the top of the list? And here are a few other things of what customers can do. They can learn what to look for while shopping product categories. 
shop by occasion or purpose. They could shop by an event. Uh, you could say, what do I need for cold weather golf or I want to start an indoor garden? And they suggest golf base layers, jackets, gloves, seed starters, get help comparing product categories. What's the difference between lip gloss and lip oil? Um, Oh, always something that I've been very interested in. Uh, find the best recommendations, all of that sort of stuff. But now, if you look at this, it's another. It's a video that they listed here as well. This is pretty interesting, I think. And it takes you through uh, a user experience, right? So they're asking, compare drip and pour over coffee. Uh, it's, it's gonna say the best coffee makers uh, and then it gives you a drip coffee uh, maker and a pour over coffee maker, but then it allows you to ask a follow up question, right? Which is something that like Perplexity does or Arc, the new search engine does. And you could basically talk to uh, the AI like you're talking to someone that you have run into at a store. Uh, and then you could look up coffee makers. Um, and then it could also allow you to, when you're saying coffee makers, it could allow you to pick the question that maybe best fits what you're asking if you don't if you don't know exactly what to, to look for. So again, I'm sure it's going to get better and better. I'm sure there's going to be people who uh, are not in love with this idea, but others who think this is going to be super valuable to their shopping experience. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know.